It's uh, two days after Christmas. We're gonna mount the Altrider crash bars, the Altrider skid plate. We're gonna change the exhaust from the original one to, to the metal mule one. And that is so we can fit the metal mule rack. On the metal mule rack, we're gonna mount the Sega Pro cases. We're gonna mount the Altrider skid plate. This is the original one. It's just plastic and it protects about this much. Mm. As you can see, there is quite some difference between the original one and the uh, Altrider skid plate, both in size and in material. This is plastic shit. This is heavy duty five millimeter something aluminium. You die before you bend that one. So, when you buy the skid plates, you get these fours. They're gonna sit on the other side of this. You get these two that's gonna sit on the inside of this. You get this and the brackets that's gonna come in from this side, like this. And you get this one. It's gonna go in all the way there. Start off. This on, and the welded nut should be to the right. Put one of the washers on. Put on this one, and now you say lock tight, and we say yes later. The nuts are locking nuts. <coughs> Behave. So. And <sighs> One is tight. This is when you need five hands, but I put this one there but first. Then I get it in place and then I pull it through. And that. Can you get this one up? Just make them not harder than that. And before tightening the long bolt, the long bolt going behind here, you tighten these ones. These ones are already tightened. I'm gonna tighten this one. That you do through this hole. And that is exactly 32 Newton. No, I was kidding, I don't know how much it should be. But it's done. Yes. And this one is a bit better than that one. There is quite some difference in the protection. Especially looking. This one protects the headers. You protect the oil filter. You protect this strange thingy there. Are you happy, Peter? I'm uh, always happy with my bike. <laughs>